instead of a coming new sickness that has defied medical knowledge and whatever the science could offer, it automatically means that the man is not aware of the cause. I can hear this money because of your body. We need to do something about this. A man who is up against the cops, a man who has committed a revolution against the cops that the cops are destroying, why is he still sitting as the king ruling over the people? Why? I want you to tell me immediately why you have concluded that this man is up against the cops. Do I need to explain anything for you to know? It is very clear and it is open. It is, it is known everywhere. Doctors gave up on this one because they were unable to diagnose what is in that case. All the equipment in the hospital, all of them went blind. They were unable to pinpoint what is in that case. Do you know why all the equipment went blind? Because the girls are walking. The girls are moving. Why? Are we not? Ready to do what we have to do to salvage our kingdom. Why? Um, can you specifically tell me what you want me to do? No, you are talking. Now you are talking. You are the new of this kingdom. Customarily, if you have the support of other men in you can pass vote of no confidence on any man who sits as the king. And once this vote of no confidence is passed on any sitting king, that man ceases to be king. I want us to urgently pass this vote of no confidence on this king. Because the man is up against the cause. If nothing is done, that man is going to die. And our kingdom is going to become very infamous as the very first kingdom where the gods kill their king. We can prevent this from you. You who was you can do it. And I'm asking you to do it. Let this be the very last time we come to my house to discuss the king. I don't know what was. No, are you actually telling me you are still seeing that man as you? Okay. I will wait for you. In my capacity as you know who of the little kingdom, ask you to leave my presence. Okay. You are asking me to leave. Do you do you realize that this man will eventually die? And if this happens, this kingdom where you sit as the rule will become subject of modern and medical amongst all other kingdoms around you. Do you realize that this is going to happen? Why are you not doing something? For the final time, I ask you to leave. Doctor, I don't understand what is going on. My father is in a very critical condition. I don't live in the palace. Do you want him to die? You see, my princess is a medical doctor. I've been in a medical practice for about 10 years. I do not want anybody to die on time of my patient. My father's condition is in medical science and this. But, 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 but doctor, the problem is that you can't even tell anybody what the problem is. He has been under your care for a month now, and you finally brought him back in the palace, and all you could say is that his condition has gone beyond medical science. No, doctor, you don't have to say that. You have to do something. This is my father we're talking about here, doctor. Please do something, please. Actually, I spoke to your mother earlier. Medical science is not the only option available when it comes to administration of health. There are other options. These are the options that do not know much about them. But our advice and family should seek for this honor. You know, what we see here is very fantastic. I was telling us the truth.
Why are you looking at me as if you don't believe? It's not as if I don't believe. Here, How do you mean? You see, what you said that the man told you has a very big striking resemblance to what the doctor told me the last time he came to see my father. And what did the doctor say? The doctor said that my father's condition is not just mere elephantiasis, that it has gone beyond medical science and that we should explore other options. You see? That's what I'm talking about. If your qualified authority, like a medical doctor, advised you to explore other options, what are you waiting for? Why acting like all is well? You see, the problem here is that my mom believes that these other options are written in veganism and she's totally against veganism. Let me tell you what the strange man said. He said that what we hear again is the tree God was saying. And he said that I should tell you to trace the tree and save your father. According to the man, he said that the tree is dedicated as a princess of a red kingdom. Anything, I mean, anything whatsoever that you put the tree is such a huge. So, what are you waiting for? Is that not stupid? How do you expect me, the princess of this land, to go ask a common tree, a mere tree, tree? How oh, is that possible? Then you do something. We know he's incapacitated by different And it's not just a man. You and I know that he's strange. And this strange man has advised on what you do. Why don't you do something? Please. I beg to be excused. Officer, please. I am not trying to teach you. The truth is, you are holding me again. What do you mean? Does it mean you don't understand the gravity of offense you have committed? I have not committed any offense. You leveled an allegation against me. You've not even given me the opportunity to reach out to somebody out there. You've been holding me here since noon, asking me questions about something I know nothing about. That is very unfair and undemocratic. Let's see your man. You told the man that he will walk into his judiciary. True or false? Yes, I said it. I'm not denying it. I said it, and that is because of the way the man treated me. Ever since I said it, I have not set my eyes on that man. Yes. Do you know why? The man eventually walked into his position the next day you made your statement. And I was sitting here telling you, you don't know that the man was murdered. <sighs> Officer, I'm telling you the truth. I know nothing about this. I am innocent. Let's take out here. The man ran into armed robbers and was brutally murdered as a result of his statement. And since he walked into his obituary, but I promise you something. If you don't tell us the truth, we want to know about the death of the man who will die in this detention. I was there when he threatened Chief Officer. They had just a minor misunderstanding in the market. Chief slapped him. But before everybody, he took Chief. And he took Chief. That he was not going to partake in the process of his death. But that he would entitle to his obituary himself. Happened exactly the next day, just like he said. He was coming back from his city, if he woke up, when he ran into Pam Robert, killed him on the spot. I am not holding brief if you are a young. For what I have discussed with him already, something tells me that he knows nothing as regards you. That is the impression you have. I am sorry. Tempted, petition the Commissioner of Police. I 
how we all shall approach. Yes. That the inspector handling the case of the gruesome murder of my friend is also very small. Because I cannot sit and watch you dismiss the principal suspect of such a flimsy excuse as I gave. I'm sorry, Mr. Kamuyo. That's not a fair assessment at all. We handle the case. But if you ask me to realize the similar case here, and we have to present a strong reason for the trial judge. This murder case we are talking about, and any time we are handling murder cases, we apply an outstanding discretion. I want you to understand. I realize that there is something weird about this young man. My officer is supposed to do something. He wants to me that I will fall into a ditch. Just two days after. I had a ghastly accident. He also threw the woman at the market. The woman runs the most driving canteen in the market. Her smile has no meaning. That is strange woman in the blue. Every day the bank which she saves her money comes up. As I'm talking to you now, the money is a wreck. She's completely off. That young man is a threat. So he has to be That this is more spiritual than physical. Physical. I don't want to tap at all that. What I want you, officers, to do is do your job of saving the lives of innocent citizens. I, I don't, I don't understand you, man. You mean? Trying to give a second thought to paganism just because of what a total stranger told you. With all due respect, Mom, I want you to understand the issues of the matter. The man that appears here to give warning is not just an ordinary man. Okay, fine. I checked with the guards at the gate. Nobody saw him enter. Nobody saw him leave. That means the man is a spirit. Are you listening to yourself? So you're telling me that you now believe in the appearance of spirits. Mom, mom, please, please just relax and understand me. Mom, just relax and understand me. Okay, fine, see. Ever before this man appeared to me, he had gone to Helen and said exactly the same thing he told me. And the issue here involves the healing of your husband, so just try and see from the angle and show me the location of this tree. I am so disappointed in you. So you mean after so many years in the university, you believe that a man tree can actually hear your prayers and do something for you? Oh, me, this has gone beyond what I believe as a person. Of course, you know I'm not the type that just believes whatever thing I hear. Fine. So why are you bothering me with what a certain stranger told me about a tree? Listen, your father is suffering from a terminal disease. And I am believing God for his healing. I was born into a Christian home. And I am still a Christian, please. I do not want to talk about whatever OCC want. Please. Please. Do you know what, Mom? Just let this to me. I'm sorry to have bothered you in the first place. And where do you think you're going? A stranger told me that a tree can heal my father. And I believe that stranger. 
Now you have refused to show me the location of this tree. And I said, fine, no problem. I am going to get that tree. For goodness sake, what is going on? What's the same book? Is an evil dream that the missionaries promoted years back, even before I got married. Why would anyone make reference to it now? And who is this stranger that has been appearing to all the girls? Helen, I have to be. Very honest with you. I am disappointed in you. I'm sorry, Ma. What did I do? Why are you incorporating yourselves as Christians when you are nothing but pagans? Trying to bring the body of Christ to ridicule. Why? Your Majesty, what have I done to warrant all these things I sent you? You told my daughter that a certain type of movie now appeared to you, true or false. Sure. I told her about the strange man who appeared to me, and I told her everything the man said to me. But I never told her where the man came from, because the man didn't even tell me where he came from. Let me ask you something. Assuming there was an Usisim tree, and you were asked to go there and bring anything. Would you do that? Well, it depends on what I'm asked to do. If it's something that will save our land or the life of somebody else, I'll definitely do it. You know what I have just confirmed? Helen, you are one of the people who have been deceiving my daughter. What do you hands to save every relationship you have with her? Your Majesty, don't you think you're judging me in a hurry? You don't know anything about judgment. Listen, if you want to practice idolatry, do that with your family. Don't you ever drag any member of your family into it. Hello? Nonsense. I will sort these people out soon. Why is she saying all this? Does it mean she doesn't want Lean to do something that will help the father? Okay, why buy me from seeing my friend? Why? Officer, please. You need to believe me. I've already told your colleague the truth. Everything I know. I'm, I'm innocent of this murder charge. I don't know anything about it. I didn't kill that man. The information available to us shows that you're a wet character. What do you have to say? I don't understand what you mean by me being a wet character. I'm a simple trader in here in Origin. I sell bangles and chains. Business has not been very good for me. I've not blamed anybody for it. So, well, why would you say I'm a wet character? You're fond of making negative pronouncements on people. And each time you do, something negative happens. What do you have to say about that? Believe me, I have nothing to say. Most times, I don't even know when I say these things. I, I say things as they trigger and register in my brain, and then afterwards, people will say that strange things start to happen. I don't know anything about it. And honestly, officer, it would be very unfair for you to punish a man on the account of something he knows nothing about. Why do I have this funny feeling that you need to be tortured? <sighs> I'm not one of those men that torture can end up to the point of accepting they did what they never did. I've told you all I know. I'm innocent. I did not kill Chief Officer. If you want to torture me, fine. Just know that you are torturing me for nothing. Oh, in my everything. Hey, I believe my love. I mean, our interrogation room, we are interrogating one more than suspect. Please come and talk later. Honey, honey, don't call this call. I'm, I'm coming.
calling you in connection with that same interrogation you are carrying out right now. How could you say it like that? You don't know anything about this case. Now you can't call in connection to it. There is a strange man that just left our house. I call him strange because he entered our house whereas I didn't open for him. Are you telling that into that entered my house? Calm down and listen. You will discontinue with that case. That young man you are interrogating is not responsible for the murder. Is that what the strange visitor said? How can you double into police investigation? Silence, listen to me. You don't have to expose our young family to spirit forces. I don't know much about spirits, but that man that left our house was a spirit. He helped you discontinue with that case and release the guy. He, he asked me to call you and advise you to release the son and to release the case. The baby, I have now. unbelievable. This is person that is threatening the life of my unborn child. Silas, I cannot call him and tell you what never happened. Okay. Ask him, is his second name Amichi? Is your second name Amichi? Yes. My name is Amichi, but it was only my late father that called me by that name. And you're right, his name is Amichi. It was only his late father that called him by that name. That his late father just left our house. He was the one that gave the warning. Okay. Ask him again. Is he from Obinago? Are you from Obinago? Can you please tell me what is going on? I need to know who you're talking with. And yes, I'm not from Obinago. But he's from Obinago. Why are you about this? Just really that suspense and trust this case. You know, I don't want anything to happen to this pregnancy. You know I love you so much, and I can do anything for you. Your late father just appeared to my wife. Can you explain the reason for that infamous visit? Officer, if you are sure my late father just appeared to your wife, you must tell her to do exactly what he said. Why on earth would my wife do what your late father said? My father was not alone. He was the most powerful native doctor that ever lived in Ubinak. He died many years ago, and he has been disturbing me to take up his role as a native doctor. I rejected him completely, and that is why things have not been going on well for me. Officer, if my late father appeared to your wife, then she must obey him. If she fails and he appears again, she will be left a wreck. I have seen this happen many times, and I wouldn't want your wife to suffer on the account of something she knows nothing about. Trust me. I am an Ishia in this land, and this is surely the very first time the process is being released. I don't know why you are in a hurry, I don't know why you are talking. Sit down, and I'm going to talk about the process. Jacob, you had all I said already, and with all due respect. The only thing I need from you now is what I want to hear. I know exactly what you are going to say. I'm not comfortable with the fact that nobody seems to think about my father. Why? You know, the problem I have with you is that you don't even know the gravity of offense I've committed. I don't get that. What offense have I committed? What right do you have on earth, you, a princess of whatever delicacy? What right do you have? Give to one of he appeared behind me and, and called me by my name. And even before he came to me, he had gone to a hell in emergency. I said exactly the same thing he told me. So I was supposed to listen to him. Why would you listen? Why would you listen? Are you not aware that the people who are they are inferior to our people? Are you not aware of that? Why would you, why would you even have your task to appear before a cabinet member like me? Making Inquiries about our secret because a mother will be not asked to do that. Why would you do that? Are you saying you're not going to direct me to the tree? May I know why you are looking for the tree? The man said that the tree is devoted to the princess and that whatever I ask of the tree, that's exactly what it will do for me. So, that is it. And uh, if finally, that is, if you manage to look at what are you doing? 
The last doctor that attended to my father said that the condition has gone beyond medical science. That is not just mere elephantiasis. That we need to explore other options. And I believe that the tree is part of the other option we need to explore. So, I want to go to the tree and ask it to heal my father for me. You know, first thing that I have to pay is that I was secret of sin. So, missionary so Several years before you came in Rome. That is what it was. Now, on the second side, I want you to begin in time to understand the fact that your father, that is to say, the king, is passing through this very strange stage of elephantitis and strange things. Because you offended the gods. Of course, I can convert to you to be the king. And it is the gods that are feeding your father with these strange things. And he has to confess to the elders of what he did that forced the gods to inflict him with the sins. If he does that, he goes to the I cannot get it. Are you very sure of what you're saying? And are you very, very sure of what you're saying? What you're saying? Do I have water in my mouth? I don't have water in my mouth. I'm telling you what is happening. You don't know it. I'm the one that knows, and I'm the one that is telling you. As long as your father is not willing to confess what he did in secret that forced the gods to inflict him with his sins, he will continue to suffer. He will continue to suffer until he dies away and ceases to think. Now, I have to Elders are meeting in secret places. With the sole aim of passing a vote of no confidence on the king, your father, you can prevent this from happening. Are you one of the men that are holding meetings in secret places, conspiring against my father to pass a vote of no confidence? Are you? You know what? Resist. It's better. I have reasons to believe that the suspect is using the social powers of the to intimidate us. But notwithstanding, as a brave policeman, I'm going to ensure that he sees the difference between the police and the vigilante. Concerned about the treatment I'm going to my wife. How did you get in here, Jerry? The first set of men that gave orders died from the orders that they gave. Do you want to be sorry about that? Every new breed of men are born into planet Earth. Some have become powerful sprinters. And even their teachers marvel at their speed. But I tell you, birds that lay a strong nest of eggs do not make their own nest. They feast the nest made by other birds. To lay their own eggs. Yeah. It takes great thoughts to build on a strange foundation. He is a great man of Obinari. His name is Amichi.
I know that you're angry and tense, but just do me this favor as a friend. Calm down and tell me exactly what my mother told you. Your mother called me and said I should stay away from you. And I'm really surprised why she would bring that kind of order. Well, I don't know why she said what she said, but I can tell you that if you love me as a friend, then you owe it to me that my father gets well. Lynn, I really don't want to be your mother's bad, honestly. You see, I, I told my mother that she cannot just call my friend and say what she said. And that is why I'm calling to say I am sorry for all forms of embarrassment she caused you and also to assure you that you're still my very good friend, who my girlfriend loves her. Well, I don't have any problem with you, that's all. Yeah. I was surprised when your mom called me to say that. No, it's okay. If I let that bother you, can you just try to tomorrow? Um, did I tell you Obina called? What did he say? He said he called your number consistently and you didn't pay. So, he actually called me to I left my phone on the car while I was talking to Sophie. Well, I saw the phone, but I was thinking that he was going to call back. Yeah. Well, I'll try and call him. I think he actually said he's in town and he'll be coming to the palace soon. And I'm not supposed to tell you this. Um, well, I won't say anything about it until I see him tomorrow. I'll call you later. Goodbye, sweetie. Bye. I'm waiting. Do you know why I sent for you? No, Your Highness. I sent for you because I trust you. And I know your loyalty is never in doubt. And I know you can do anything for my father. No matter the condition of your father, he's still the king of this kingdom. I can do anything for you. I was informed that a particular dream home to Mr. Singh would play a very huge part of my father's life. And I know you're a young man of this king, and that you know all the moves and laws of this king. I will just take you to the street next time. It would have been my greatest pleasure to take you to the place you desire. But I don't know the dream you mentioned on your way with us. Well, I suppose we sell people and said that the tree has been uprooted, but I can tell you that. I don't believe them. I know that this tree is down somewhere in this kingdom. I want you to take it to the tree. I can do anything for you and your father. Give me the energy. I will find the tree and I will take you to it. Okay. But it's confidential. I trust you to keep secrets. I don't want this discussed as well. I understand this. Do not be discussed. Thank you. I was seated here, watching the television. The man I had for me saw. And I know I locked the window. And I was like, how come? Deliberately, I know our house is under attack. So I started praying. And now, I was supposed to be nice to me. Can you just give me some He was wearing all white, kind of judge material. It's red cow, and he was looking so scary. <sighs> the same man had appeared to us earlier in the station today. What are you waiting for? Why haven't you released the young man that you, that you arrested? Oh, thank God. Oh, I cannot see myself today. I've never seen it before. I still can't, I still can't believe I was talking to a ghost. Honestly. <laughs> yes. It is true. And she must be allowed to.
question for now. The king is sick, and getting him back on his feet is what matters to me most, not marriage. Same address I wrote in my sleep. You told me you have replaced me. You to follow me to my place. But it's okay. I think I know why you did this. It's because you want to verify if I actually lied. Fine. Take a look around. This is my place. This is my little address. My seats. My room. Is it now clear to you that very much? Well, I came with you to defend my own suspicion. Your father appeared to us. You're not serious, are you? Huh? What is all this? Why is he appearing to everybody? What, what does he want? Information is circulated in the kingdom. Oh, no, we just wait a minute. Look, are you telling me that you don't believe me? What God says, I don't believe you. And you realize that nobody believes you. You are the person that is alleging that the king 
offended the gods, and that is why he suffered. And so, as long as you are not ready to prove your allegation, then you better shut your mouth and stop spreading dangerous rumors that you cannot prove. Let me warn you. You will like the way I'm handling this matter when guests speak. Does it mean that this evil king has bad enough? Why is he not willing to do what he has to do as a new American? Why is he trying to My princess. You are talking as if you have been here with us. Tell me what you've heard. I'll tell you everything, Father, but first I want you to tell me the truth. Did you do anything against the gods that could possibly make them inflict you with this incurable sickness? I can never hide anything from you. Anything against God. I don't know why I'm suffering. There's no help. No help. I went to see Chieko before to ask him for directions, and he told me that the gods are responsible for your present condition. I'm not happy that you go to Chieko. I'm not happy because. It's not in the world. He brought him into the council because of his late father. But father, I am concerned with your recovery. He said that as soon as you confess to the elders in council, that the gods will heal you immediately. Princess, if you forget everything, don't ever forget the fact that it's a good prefect. It's not a noble man. It's one of the Bad eggs in the council. If you ever need anything, can go to other men in the council. But not to check the good being fed. Never. Father, do I have your word that you don't have any clue as regards what is happening to you now? Yes. You have the word of the king. I have not done anything against the cause. But all I know is that the gods want to use this man Elmer to correct certain things in the kingdom. So, go and sleep. Go back to your and sleep. And bear in mind that I have not done anything against What am I doing here? I don't even know how I got here. What am I doing Please, please, I beg you, I beg you. I beg you, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm harmless. I'm only a man. I don't kill me, please. Hey, my children, I'm so sorry. Hey, my children, I'm so sorry. I don't know anything about this. I don't, I don't know. Please, don't, don't let me go. I don't tell anybody, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what that means. Please, I wish you a good day, but I don't want to show you the way to be the world. That will make this matter the ancient class difference between one and a general and a banana. This is my thing and you have no idea of anything. I always taste this trouble in my life to see the bugs. Are you saying that there's money for me in this tree? Thank <laughs> you. 
condition is critical and I was instructed not to make a noise. Your car will be safe outside. I'm surprised they still allow you guards to wear this ancient uniform and not free you like primitive natives. Not to worry. When I become king, you're going to wear designer suits and jackets. That's the promise. We are not models that display designer words. Our work here is sacred, and as such, we don't need your designer suits and jackets. How dare you talk to me in that tone? Is your way you're talking to the incoming king? Or where you are here to see the princess? Let me take you. What the hell do you mean by take me where I'll wait? Why are you doing everything possible to get me angry this morning? Now, if you're not careful, you need to terminate your contract in this palace. Take me straight into her bed. I came this morning because I want to behold her on her bed. I cannot take you to where she slept. And that's why I was the king? I VIP. Very important person here. I'm not happy that you're standing and talking. Yes. What am I doing here? Good morning, sir. Good morning, beautiful. I must say I'm impressed with the appearance of Venus. Unlike you got so ancient and interesting. I'm happy you are impressed with the Venus. She's here to keep you company and make you comfortable. While I go on and talk to princess. Please tell me why they asked me to stay here with the princess. God punish you and your nonsense breakfast. I asked you to tell me why I was told to sit here and wait for the princess. Tell me right now. Do you think I'm one of those poor parts who are obsessed with the family palace? Uh, I will take it immediately that you're not hungry. Good. Or want something to drink. We have stouts, beer, whiskey, brandy, and all categories of wine. What would you like to drink, sir? Get out of my sight. 
Would you prefer ordinary? Yes, because the instruction here is I keep you very comfortable as you are with the princess. Get in on my nerves and get out of my presence. Out. Oh, oh, sorry, Sabo. With all due respect, you cannot smoke here. What I understand from what you said is that uh, you have finally decided to step into your father's shoe. I am pleased. I am happy that as you only surviving, I am alive to witness this day. <clears throat> Sorry to disappoint you. I think you are getting this one. You're missing the point. I am not here to take up any money. I am not here to become a native doctor. That is outside of the point here is that I want to I want to understand the meaning of the revelation I had last night. That's why I'm here. The gods speak in blank verses. The masquerade you saw in your revelation was your father. Your father revealed himself to you in his capacity as the open one of the That's your only surviving. I'm telling you. I'm advising you. Take up this book. Start the work. No. He said something. He said the tree is located in many territories. In fact, he said this tree is their sacred tree. So I'm wondering what my business will be with a tree located in Aurora in Kingdom. What do I have to do with it? Really tell the people always feel that they are better than us. Do you think they are any better? Not, please. I don't want to be dragged into this discrimination politics between the two kingdoms. Discrimination politics. Without events, there will be no history that was known. The first kingdom that showed true for any people was a man from Oblago. Brother. Yes. For more be that. Are you are you are you really sure? So how is that possible? Well, I like him when you see him. Let me tell you the truth. His name was Ezekiel. Ezekiel was murdered by a relative. They murdered him and started this discrimination against him because they were afraid we were going to come to avenge the death of our brother. The gods, the gods are not asleep. The gods now have started to set the world straight. What do you mean, set the record straight? Yes. One king. One king should be ruling Obinabu and already taken kingdom. Both kingdoms should not be ruled by independent kings. The already told people are resisting this move of the gods. You and I know that the present king is It is very, very sick of medical science. Has failed to trace this element. Even the medical doctors have not found solution to it. Trace the tree where asked and watch out to see what the gods have instead. You will see the movement of the gods have seen. <sighs> My sunshine, my love, the one that gives me joy. You know, each time I look at you, I see the ones. I know it 
mixed up palace, but you know it's just the two of us here. So, okay. <laughs> can you explain to me the meaning of all the rubbish that has been happening since I came here? And what or what do you call rubbish? I sense a deliberate attempt to provoke me this morning. And I have every reason to believe that you set that plan in motion. Why are you resisting me? Ever since you came into this palace this morning, have you bothered to know how my father is faring? I'm sorry about your father. I... You know, we've done everything possible. Your father's condition has just defied everything we did. So it's good we just let the old man be. You are the one I love. You are my interest. Getting married to you is my business. Most times when I listen to you, do you know what I hear? A man who is not very intelligent and he bothers me. I take that as an insult and I deserve an unreserved apology. Why would you call me unintelligent? Do you know how many men have converted to perpetual paymasters? Do you know how many men pay into my account every day? You think it's easy to convert men into paymasters? Standing before me this morning, you just confirmed the rumors making round us true. Yes. You must know I am the incoming king of this kingdom. And men who would become king do not pay attention to rumors. Now, um, what rumor did you? You are into 419, true or false? You're just using your father's petrol station to cover up. Mm -hmm. Is that what they told you? I am judging you from what you said with your own mouth that you converted some men into what you call perpetual paymasters. Is that not 419? And what on earth would make you think that I would want to settle for a man that obtains by trick? What would make you think so? Princess, I think you're judging me wrong and we're beginning to deviate. I suggest we change the topic. Let's. Talk something more intimate. And that's the reason I came to you. Talk about you and I. We should change the topic. Why do we change the topic? Tell me, why should we change the topic? I know why. Mm. Okay. I bought this. Diamond engagement ring for you. I bought it in Amsterdam, 70,000 euros. I came here to engage you to profess my love. And I'll suggest we get married by Christmas. You see, marriage must first happen in the mind before it happens in the body. Any marriage that does not happen in the mind must surely crumble. I am not in a hurry to get married. I cannot say I understand what you're saying. I mean. You see, my main business now is to see my father recover from his ailment. And as long as he has not recovered, I am not thinking of getting married to him. Princess, are you the one saying this or someone speaking through? Me, Princess Glee of Oriental Kingdom. Marriage is not my obsession for now. If you are so much in a hurry to give out your engagement ring, why not go out there and find another media? She will be very happy to be your bride. Break my lips. I have a different surprise to Princess Glee. Lee, wait! Is this a joke or something? Why? Why have she suddenly lost interest in me? Why would you, Princess, walk out on me? Why? I want to see the Queen Mother. Any problem, sir? I'm not very comfortable with her contents. 
You are trying to make me fall out with you this morning. Why are you provoking me? I said I want to see the queen. Fine, sir. I have to wait while you talk to me. It's your intention to see you. Hey! Are you part of this conspiracy? I don't know what to do about this conspiracy, sir. Okay. I will get married to the princess. And I will be the next king of this kingdom. The princess is the one that matters. The opinion of a American like me is just irrelevant. I see. Uh, have you ever heard of You are the one that is interfering. Most people are trying to say, first of all, you are the one that should be jealous. How dare you talk to me in that manner? Are you sick? Wait. What you got to do in this palace? What you lousy guys do in this palace is to gather and discuss the incoming thing. How much does it think of which you will bring? Just to me as if you really don't know the exact location of the pew we are looking for. That is the truth. Huh? I never told you I know the location of the tree. I never told you that. I brought you here to see if you can identify the credit to you, so you can have a Do you know? If you were not my uncle, I would have cursed you as a friend. You have cursed me already, honestly. I would you call me? Because I don't understand the sense in it. We've been wandering through this, this forest for God knows how long. And we still can't find what we're looking for, the tree. So why are we here? Tell me you want that to continue the best to find the tree that is going to fetch you millions and make you a millionaire? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into the kingdom and get somebody who can help me locate the tree. Get that rope off on your head. Do you think they will ever listen to the gods have started a move. Don't move too fast. Let's leave the gods to conclude what they have started. Well, the masquerade has been to me, which you confirmed was my father. Do not ask me to wait for the gods to be I remember what I was told. I was told to find the tree before it is too late. It's still ringing in my head. And that's what I'm going to do now to find that tree.
them and used the hand to flog them scabs. Look, I was promised money. I was promised millions of naira if I can find this tree. That's what I want to do. I need, I need this money. I need money. And uh, that is the reason she told you whatever she has told you. This is what I bought for. Every dollar girl will be excited. I don't know what to say. This is awesome. It must have cost a fortune. That cost me a million seventy thousand. I don't know what else to do to invest in this. Well, I will advise you to give me to give me some time to talk to you. Your Majesty, I want to get married to her like Christmas. I'm confused as to why she has suddenly begun to resist me. Why? She's just being a woman. I think she's planning to make you feel how important she is. But not to worry. Just give me some time now, her days. Okay? Princess Lane of Oriental Kingdom. I wonder why you are sounding as if you don't believe me. And why would you be thinking that way? She said the tree was uprooted many years ago before yes. I was born. Yes. I already know that. All I need is someone that can take me to the location of this uprooted tree. That's all. But I don't know the location of the tree. I am a man of Odinago. And I'm here to tell you that you have the solution to the problem of this land. Listen, princess. Elders are meeting in secret places. With the sole aim of passing a vote of more confidence on the king, your father. You can prevent this from happening. Some well-positioned men of this kingdom are holding secret meetings to pass a vote of no confidence against the king. Are you one of the men that are planning to scheme against the king? I don't believe you. Do you mean to say that you don't trust me anymore? The reason anybody would want to put my father out is because he is now incapacitated. And I told you that once I set my eyes on the sacred was the same tree, that my father will be healed. I came to you here because you are know of this man to direct me to the location of this tree. And all you could tell me is that you don't know the location of this tree. Is that not enough for me to say that you don't want my father to get well? Is that not enough? What do you mean? You mean what I have done in my capacity as a lord of your little kingdom? To ensure that your father stays safe on that throne. That's the only way to stand in this way. Then you have to direct me to someone that will take me to the location of this uprooted tree. You have to prove to me that you're still loyal to my father. You have to do something. You 
There is a woman of your village. I will direct you to her. What will I be doing with the woman of the village? What? Um, in the entire Oriental Kingdom, almost everybody is a Christian. Even those who don't go to any church at all, when they die, they find out eventually that they belong to a particular church. The leaders and the members of the church will gather together to marry together. But this woman of the village remains the only soul that doesn't belong to any church. Countless number of times we, the members of the cabinet, when we run into troubled waters in the bid to maintain our traditional culture, had come to meet the same to direct us. And I believe that this one of men we know the actual position. Okay, something tells me we are making progress here. So how would I get to this Her name is Aka. The moment you enter the village, ask any person to parent you to Aka. They call her the stubborn Aka because she hardly agrees to anything. I can authoritatively tell you that she is. But on the other hand, she is the most benevolent woman I had ever seen in this kingdom. She is kind to everyone. Whatever she cannot say in your presence, she will also not say it in your absence. Go to Baka of the village. I believe she has a solution. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I will keep you posted on every step of the way. Do you know what she told me? She told me to take my engagement break and give to someone a bit. That was what she told me. So what are you waiting for? That means she has already freed you to get married to another maiden. Beat her to eat and marry another maiden immediately. Listen to me. There are many beautiful maidens in this kingdom that are scattered everywhere. Maidens that are more beautiful, more succulent. More attractive than Mrs. Lane. Listen to me. If you have become so blind that you cannot see any of them, they engage my services and I will tell you what you let And they move with them. Every single land you see, there are men that own that land. And this is our land of Revelation. I am among the men that own here. It's a mole bar. They could be fair. <laughs> I can't believe you're the one saying this. What would you believe? What would you believe? Or are you telling me that Princess Lynn is the most beautiful? Is that, is that, are you telling me that to my face? That Princess Lynn is the most beautiful maid you have in this kingdom? That is not the point! The point is, if I got married to some other maid, like she said, how do I achieve my aim? It's kingdom. That is the point. You are not seeing the idea of being king. 
king of which place? What kind of rubbish was to be asking? I am going to get married to Princess Lane, and I'm going to be the next king of this land. That's the plan. I think the time is right. You need to open your eyes because I can see you are not seeing anything. Of course, kingship in Oriental Kingdom has started to rotate. As it rotates in almost all other progressive kingdoms. But the next king will not come from the village of this present king. And will not come from your village either. The kingship is rotating. If your reason for settling for Princess Lady is because of this nonsense that you say, you better in time understand that you're wasting your time because it doesn't happen. Wait. Are you insulting me because I came to your house and this is why you No, oh, Obina, I'm not insulting you. What would I do? I know you now. Huh? Obina, Ukeje, Mumbai. I'm not insulting you, but I'm just telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And I want you to understand something. This man you are seeing here, here go before his one man that will never start something that he has no plan of concluding. That is this man here. Uh, in essence, you're telling me that this, uh, you are the proponent of this the doctrine of rotational politics. Huh? I can only tell you something that everything that is good that ever started anywhere must have been done. But we know who understands that that is good. That is good. Is she a good friend that you are seeing here? Is a woman I was born when I stand in it? I will see it. Understand it. If you have the mind, you won't be able to One people do it. You be a child. You be a child. You be a child. Seriously, whenever I look around, I wonder why we are cursed in this country. We are seriously cursed in this country. Seriously. That was harsh. How could you say a thing like that? How could you say that this land is cursed, Amaka? Please. Are you the only one in this country? If I should put it to you, this country is the most misgoverned country in the whole world. Amaka, how could you say that? Have you been to other countries to know how they are governed? Oh, have I been to other countries? Okay, take a good look at this road. The contract was awarded to Padat Holdings, a construction company owned by Chief BCC Okeke. The contract money has been shared, and the contract forgotten. In the books, this road has been constructed. But in real life, you and I know that this road is still a shadow of its former self. Chief BCC Okeke is still there. He's whining. Dining with the governor. Nobody asks him questions. No one. Nobody asks him questions of what happened to the money given to him to construct this room. Nobody. Amaka. What? Is there not to say, Lee? That's Lee. What did she do with this woman? Man, how do I get this woman? How do I get this woman? Princess Lee of Olentelo Kingdom. What are you doing in Uni? I am looking for a woman called Akala. I don't know if you ladies could help take me to her. You're looking for stubborn Akala. Why do you want to see Akala, my princess? I must tell you immediately that I've not seen her before. But the fact is that there's something very important I want her to do for me. So I must tell you the truth that I must see her today. And it's a matter of life and death situation. Hmm. Life and death situation. Okay. I'll direct you to her. But my princess, firstly, I must warn you, Akala is an evil woman who doesn't go to church. Everybody believes she's a witch. And it's a belief that we all have that she's a witch. Well, I've heard all that, but I still want to see her. 
You still want to see her? Yeah. Okay. You're almost there. You just have to drive down. Then take your left. Count four houses. The fourth house is a house. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome, my friend. Yes. You're welcome. Okay. Your Majesty, she was emphatic when she spoke. She told the young man that marriage was not an obsession for her. Igwe, I know for sure that our daughter is seeing someone else. I want us to make her tell us who that new man in her life is. Because we cannot allow her to get married to just anybody. I agree with you. Snape and Death have a striking resemblance. Which of the two will you say? I was asked to seek Mother Makala of the village. I humble myself before you. Please, are you the one? My name is Akala. They call me the stubborn Akala. And many have concluded that I'm a witch. Many avoid me. And most of the times, 
I see the men that parade themselves as masquerades in this town, running away from the sight of coming. It shows that the history of a Renita Kingdom can never be written without the woman. What do you want? When you said that my sleep and death has a striking resemblance, I presume you were talking about my father. Am I right? Now I know why I had that. You are Princess Lena of Oreni Telo Kingdom. And you have come to make inquiry on the same way Yes, how did you know? <laughs> Let me get you something to see. You are a noble woman of this land. And I must treat you like a very important person. I will cook for you. If you want to eat anything? No, I'm okay, ma. Thank you. This is just one thirty p.m. One thirty p.m. Daytime. And you've consumed all these drinks. If you are sure you are looking for the sacred Lucy symbol of our little kingdom, then you have to buy me another bottle. And that will make it the eighth bottle I bought for you today. Does it mean that I was directed to you to be buying you drinks? Is it your business? Am I drinking with your mouth? Those that directed you to me, they were no fools. They know that I know everything. Just one more bottle. You have not misbehaved so far. So maintain. I don't want you to misbehave. Don't misbehave and I will take you to the tree, you see. No, I see no. No. Take me to the tree first. Once I see the tree with my eyes, then I can buy you this whole bar. I want to see the tree. I am audible. I am not always in a hurry. That is why I am not a millionaire yet. Just one more bottle and I will take you to the tree. Hey, I don't know why you are calling the visitor that I brought to your children. But make sure you don't say anything stupid. Make sure you say only what you do. Or you leave me with no option. Turn this your miserable bar into nonsense and you will not be happy with it. Just say anything stupid now. No man. No man. Why are you looking for the second truth? Sorry, but I don't understand what your business is in this. I have lived in this land for so long. I know a whole lot of things in this land. I know what most around. You see that man drinking there? He doesn't know anything. He doesn't. But those that directed me to him said he knows he's the only person that can take me to a secret tree. You just have me say that I know everything that happens in this land. Are you only logical? He has consumed a whole lot of alcohol there. Yeah.
know exactly what that fool told you. Yes. But I'm going to prove to him that before ever he came to this town and started answering Oko died, we have been the Okuna boss. I'm a boss at two pieces. Before him. You know what? I already spoke with some people, and they told me the tree has been uprooted long ago before I was born. But the man asked me to look for this tree, and I believe he would not ask me to look for the tree when the tree is not in existence. Those that told you that the tree was uprooted, the tree was indeed. Why would the man actually tell you that the tree has been uprooted twice? Obungu! They uprooted the tree quite right. But the tree is back. And that's what's true. He dies when he decides to die. Men! How much do you need to pay? What do you take to this tree? I don't need your money to take it to this tree. So, you Why not? Well, you already told me you like my father. And you confided in me that he's one of the best kings that ever reigned in the land and that he's a noble man. Take me to this tree. I believe my father will be healed once I get to the tree. I doubt it. Take me to the tree first. Those that go to us sin must go. Today is not a game. I'll show you. Come back in three days time. Now we'll take you to sin. Don't ever make a mistake of appearing before us sin. On a day that is not a game again day. Men may do that. But you as a boy, don't ever try it. Why are you making this thing difficult for me? Why? The general impression I'm all happy. One day unites, take vengeance. Did I tell you the truth? The life of Igwe and Tioka was original. If I tell you immediately, they are living in our heart. Obunago, I'm not really telling. One day unites over something. Spirit. Is Igwe and Tioka? Who is he? Um, I want you to go back to Okunai. I tell him that he's a fool. Whoever thinking that I or the fool of the little kingdom, I don't know anything. This is exactly those things that you see. I'm indebted to you, Jim. Eh? Yes. I said I am indebted to you. This, this is the same tree I saw in that revelation. Same tree. I don't know what you mean by you are indebted to me. Listen, if you know anything you want to give me for showing you this tree, please give it to me. I don't want anybody to be indebted to me. I don't have time to be following them around. Give it to me. Do you know anybody who has been exposed to the powers of the street? Do you? What do you mean by the powers of the street? It is sometimes used to see. Is it of Yes. Yes, it is. The masquerade that appeared to me told me that I can get anything I ask on the street. In fact, they said that the tree can make me a millionaire. That's why I'm here. So I need you. I need you. 
need you to show me something. Help teach me. Expose me to the past of this dream. Sorry to disappoint you, but I can it. This is your sister. This dream is starting before us. I'm going to do that. You can't move. You cannot do anything. You never can tell me. Many things that we have. Many things. Please, I need you to show me somebody. Teach me down the street, the powers of the street. Please. Uh, yeah. The initial contract was to take it to us. And we are standing before us. It is looking at us and looking at it. That contract has expired. So I've seen it already. Now you are asking me to take you to someone who is going to teach you how to use it. That one is a new contract. I don't know how much you need to pay me because I need to know that you will see this. Don't ever think that I am your devotee. I am cheap. I am not cheap. I am not cheap. This is written all over you. But I'm not going to do it with that. I want to know who directed you to that command. So, are you saying you're not going to help? They all said you're a great one. And I, I think I can see all the signs of greatness here. Please, I'm dealing with you. I need help. Help me. From what I gather from you. You are looking for the serious. It's just a little bit. Located the sacred old thing. And you have actually gone there to pray. The man of Okunago the right to appear before our sacred old thing. Now we got because if the main issue and follow up the rubbish, he is asking for your help because you are the only one that is on you. Help him, don't be selfish, he's a new apostle. No, I see. Now I see. Young man. So, you want to help me? Yes, you are the one that took this strange man to our sacred position. That we guide you. Eh? Yes, because I'm interested in the money. His late father appeared to him and told him that our second of sin would have made him a millionaire. That is why we are here. He came all the way from Rebinago. We are asking you to tell us how to get this money. We need money. This is the The main father visited our sacred of sin. Without a guide, has defiled the place. You must buy three white tickets. Oh, okay, 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 fine. First, I want to apologize for I'm very sorry. How much will it cost? Okay. Don't, don't be too fast. I am the one leading this operation, so you should allow me to confirm all things that you hear before you act. Agala, why would you say he went without a guide? Are you telling me to my face that I'm not competent enough to guide a visitor in this kingdom where I've lived all my life? That was a thing. Young man, I don't have time for your rubbish. Listen to me, young man. If you are not ready to do what I just asked you to do, but I must tell you one thing. Don't go back to that tree without doing what I asked you to do. I tell you the first time, doesn't know anything. If you try that again, don't go back to that tree. That tree is not just an ordinary tree. It is the very summation of all things. Okay, we... We, we, we are not doubting your class. Like I said before, we are very sorry for you. Um, what will it cost the chickens? I will pay. 
I am not interested in your money. Go and buy the chickens. Then I will tell you what you must do. I want you to tell me the meaning of what you told me. Well, I told them the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. If there's so much in a hurry to get married, then tell him to find someone else because me, I am not available. Who is the new man? Which man? They don't act up like you don't know what I'm talking there must be a new man in your life for this sudden change. So tell me. Sincerely, Mom, there's no man, no man anywhere, no man. You think I'm a child like that, just Who is the man in your life now? Mommy, why do you doubt me? See, if there's a man, I'll tell you. There is no man anywhere. Robina had planned to get married to the next Christmas. And you refused his engagement. That shows you're not ready. So I want you to tell me, from one woman to the other, when are you going to be ready? Oh, well, let me tell you the truth based on my present information. Hmm? I will never marry. I will be no man's wife. I choose to remain single for the rest of my life. You will not get married and become a mother? No. Physical marriage is an aftermath of marriage in the mind. And trust me, I am not married in the mind. And based on my present conviction about myself, I am not among those ladies that are so obsessed with marriage. I am not. Please. Have you discussed this with your father? And look, do you know why I love my father so much? Because he respects other people's decisions. No matter what to go is an impression of. My enemies are at work. How can a woman decide to remain single for the rest of her life when she's not born? Is anything the matter? You asked me to trace the location of Mrs. Hill. I'm here to report to you that I found it. You're not serious, are you? I'm very serious, Alice. I can't come to you and tell you that I found it when I've not found it. Okay, fine. So, can you take me to the place now? Your wish is my command. If you want me to take you now, I will take you right away. Never make a mistake of appearing before us is single on a day that is not a game market day. Men may do that at home for you, but you as a <laughs> Don't ever try it. You see, I was told that if I must appear before the tree, that it has to be on a good day. I don't know about appearing before the tree on a good day. All I know is that I have found a location. Do you know any woman called Akala of the village? Akala? Yes, of course. I know Akala very well. Everyone knows Akala. But people say she's evil. But we, the youth, have come to realize that she's not here. She's one of the very sincere women we have in the land. She has never cheated anyone before. And no one can say Akala has insulted him or her. She's not a seer. But everyone that followed her advice never regretted it. Her only problem is that she is very stubborn. But why did you ask your eyes? I don't like what you are doing. I don't like what you are doing. You hired me to bring your dad, and yet you're not listening to me. Listen, I have this feeling you have a personal problem with that woman. 
I don't care. It is not my business. This is your business. You solve it. If you want me to continue buying you drinks, fine. But right now, I'm going to get those chickens so I can give to that woman and she will help me tap from the tree. That is why I am here. Here in this kingdom, there are other people who will be ready to listen to us and even do it at cheaper rate. Let us go and meet them. I'm okay with that woman. How can you be okay with the woman? You're okay with the woman. I was the person that took you to the woman. How can you be okay with the woman? Do you know the woman before? I was the person that took you to Akala, and I'm telling you that I want us to see other people that, that before we now take our final decision. I have taken my own decision, and that is final. See, I have a mission here. I'm not here to play. I don't, I don't want distraction. Just, just hold on. Do you mean to say you now see me as a distraction? Okay, fine. Let's just cut this thing short. I have paid you what you asked me to pay you. Everything in full. If you do not want to continue the work, fine. Go back to the bar and continue drinking. Thank you. This is an insult. Eh? This is a big insult. A visitor who doesn't know his way around the kingdom is not saying nonsense because I've shown him what he came to see. We shall see about that. Is it not because of this Akala? If not for the gods now, we can just come back to that shrine. I don't want to of my mouth. Can you swear by anything that you cannot inform the princess of my visit? I mean, why are you talking this way? Because I'm just telling you the truth. I warned you. I came to you specifically because I told you were smart. And I warned you not to tell her my visit. I hold you responsible for all the insults I got at the palace. I'm really amazed at you. Wait, wait, wait. I really need to get some history. Was it Princess Lin that told you that I mentioned your visit to the palace to her today? The princess did not tell me anything. But the structure I met on ground gave me the impression that I had a prior notice of my visit. Now, why you look me in the face and deny the threat? I've been mad. Why are you worrying over nothing? For nothing. Is that what you call this? Nothing? Nothing. I mean, you should be worried about Princess, who is no longer thinking about you. And here you are asking me to deny access yeah, or whatever. That shouldn't worry you. You should think more about the message and not all these things. Can you tell me who this new man is? I don't know who the new man is. Just automatically, my friend, there's a new man. This is a The new man is very dynamic and strong. And the thought of him has consumed him. How much would you want me to pay you to disclose the identity of the new man? What should you do with his identity? By now, you ought to have known that I'm not interested in money or I'm not a cheap. So if you have to pay me for anything, the payment has to be based on something reasonable. You're not asking me to give you information about my friend. to come to your place. I don't know why you say that. And I don't know why you say what you just said. The princess who is betrothed to you should be your concern. And not being here saying all this. Please, if you don't mind, I would like to be left alone. Please. Helen, I came to you because I believe you were smart. Pretty good like you should be. I just want to do Asking me how to get out. 
child. No, wait, wait. Do you know who you're talking to? You're actually walking me out of your house? I know who you are. You are Obina and I am Helen. And I'm asking you to leave my house. Hmm. Okay then. If you know this is good for you, meet me in my house watch it. Can I ask you something, Your Highness? Go ahead. Why do you hate Obi no Kenji so much? I beg your pardon. What did you just say? The instructions he gave to me ran contrary to the original instructions we had. I know you hate me, and I want to know why. Why? How many of you have discussed this incident before now? How many of you? I mean, I spoke with him this morning and I felt very bad. I don't know, but I think he knows you don't want something. I think you're beginning to lose the time. Look into my eyes and deny this. Lost the No. I have never allowed such thoughts to cross my mind. Trust me. I mean, I know he's your. All I'm concerned with is the fact that you now treat him like a stranger. Why? So, friends, how are you today? What exactly did you tell him now, Katie? Don't tell me he called you. She just left my place and he sounded as if you told him off. Helen, there are some people you know and you're happy. Why there are other people you know and you're very, very angry. Yes, but I don't understand the import of that statement. You see, Helen, I choose to remain single instead of getting married to such a character like Rubina. You're making a weighty statement. Why allow him to come this far? You should have told him all this while that you're not interested in him. Helen, apart from his father's petrol station that he inherited, what else does he do? Do you really want me to tell you? Obi Nukeji is a froster. But if you ask me... There's nothing wrong with that. Honestly. So you actually know he's a froster? And you want me to be wasting my time with him? Obi Nukeji is into a whole lot of things. And if you don't like him, you should have told him all this while. Instead of allowing him to waste his time and now you're saying something else. What, Helen? Do you know what? Do you know what? If you want Obi Nukeji, if you want Obi Na, if you want to go for him, you can have him for all I care. As in, you can go for him, have him for all I care. And please, I don't want to continue this call. I'll call you later. Princess? Princess? Oh, you see, Helen, there are certain things I want both of us to discuss in a more Relaxed atmosphere. You know you are a beautiful woman, <laughs> a perfect example of the African queen. You know, sometimes you let yourself free yourself, explore exuberance. Explore my exuberance. 
exploring experience. What does that mean? Uh, the stranger from Obinago had alleged that you can make some money millionaire. I am standing here as a man of faith, asking you to open up and give me the millions. But you surely cannot start the business of enriching people with outsiders. No, it's not done. You have to start it with those of us who have lived all our lives here in this kingdom. Open up and give me the don't pretend not to be hearing me because I know you are hearing me. Don't pretend not to hear me. You are hearing me. I want to tell you, and I'm standing before you, the merchant, and I can tell you immediately that this merchant is very, very sharp. Open up and give me the millions you promised the stranger for moving that, or you give me with the option of putting you down. Eh. I want to be stingy to me. Okay. I am going to count five. And if you fail to do something, I'm going to cut you down for it. Finally, I'm going to cut you down. The counting starts now. One. What is it? Two. Three. Four. Four and a half. What is Open up and give me the millions. I'm about to count five. I'm about to count five. Five. Okay. Come on. <laughs> hey, who, who, who are you? I'm going to be. Maria Adelianco. Ever appear here wearing that much. <laughs> this is the same great. The healing that will come to the king will come from this tree. Leave this tree of your older This is mighty and I. Through the streets. No, 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 no. Please, no, 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 I'm making you mad. Who are you? Are you Sim? You are not the chosen person. But you can still be relevant. Healing will come to the king. And when that happens, there will be peace. Between Obinan and I asked you to see me this evening. Why did you? I don't understand why you would ask me to come to your house. Why would you always see yourself as a responsible religious king? And what does that mean? Tell him. I want to turn you into an international being. And that is why I ask you to come with us. Do you come to me and help you realize all your intentions? Okay? Robin, you know one thing I promise you for sure? I'm not going to tell this as in all this rubbish is in it. You're so stupid. You let me tell the words when I'm talking to you. Listen to me. I invite you to consider what we're starting to gain this. If you're going to continue like this, I'll stop picking your calls. You are being groomed as the king of this kingdom, and I'll appreciate 
if you can talk like someone who is going to be the king someday in the future. Not all these things are said to me. You know, all I have to say to you is good night. I'm really fed up with what you should say to me, please. For anything, he's open for attention. I called a good gift. I want us to ask him the name of this Um, to the best of my knowledge, that statement means only but one thing that the kingship would be rotating from one village to another village. And that is a noble move. <laughs> I see no reason you should make it look as if each year it could be fair has said something that is abominable. Yeah, it's your good. It's a good with you. <laughs> Are you seeing the reason I will always tell you that this man here is so free of all the He's a great man. Yeah. Are you seeing? This man here is a man that is not in the caliber of kings. Where are you praising the chief? Ah. It's like you'll be meeting in secret places and I've taken the decision of kingship already. Let me make one thing clear. We have a king in this land. And as long as that king lives, no worry should become sensation. Sorry, I have to cut in here. Point of direction. I believe Uma has called us here to tell us something. And you have never allowed him to say the reason why he has called us. Why are we discussing about Obi in the first time? Oh, Please, let us listen. Uh, yeah. I want to thank you for this direction. It's a great man to have in this kingdom when they speak. Men that are committed to the progress of this kingdom always looking for the way forward. Okay, let me introduce my topic. Our king is up against the gods. He has offended the gods. He committed a secret abomination that he is not willing to confess to anybody. And because of this very, very hidden abomination that he committed, the cause inflicted him with incredible sickness. That is why he's suffering. That's why he's sick. And we need to move and pass a vote of no confidence on this man so that he, he will cease to be king. And from the way you know who sounded, it was clear to me that he has been not. I don't understand it. So I call this meeting this night of the men that sit in council for us to take up this matter. I handle it as man. What exactly did you say? You know who say that we should leave the, the, the course to continue with what they have started to me. That is very funny. Very funny in the sense that we are talking about a man who the course are already destroyed. A man that is already up against the course. A man that have a man that that that, that, that committed a, a sacrilege. A man that the course are destroyed. Can you imagine that kind of thing? We you know who is telling us that we have to be mad. That is madness. I don't understand it. The man is down already at the capacity. Is it ever normal for such a man to be ruled really over the man and their king? We must pass fruit of no confidence. It will be to know who will make you last. We cannot do anything without you. Know. Yeah, Erica, why are you always doing this? Why? You see the reason we always disagree. Most times when you open your mouth, I begin to wonder where you're coming from. I just told you that you see, I just, I just told you that you know what. I don't know who is not willing to do his work and don't know. And they're telling me that you have to sit and you don't know who to do something. How can you do something like that? How can you be saying that kind of thing? In Mumako City, but in Amo. In Amo, maybe. I don't want us to go into that. What I'm seeing is that there is something that I have Something that we are going to do at this matter is so wonderful. Very simple. 
tomorrow we are going to take the deity, the oracle of our going to the palace to present the deity to the king and then we are going to ask the king to swear on the deity to absolve himself to show us that he is innocent of my allegation that he committed a secret abomination so to accord it if he swears and survives we leave it alone and know the man has committed nothing then we leave the cause to continue with what they are doing but that man that i his hands are not clean he is not going to swear and immediately he refuses to swear to God, that is automatic. You have to perfect your foot of no confidence. I am compared to you. But you are not sure. That is the way. I can't be that in it. Why do you want to set me that We are going to settle for that kind of dating because that kind of dating is the kind of dating we need in a time like this. We are not a bunch of fools that will approach the day with all these moi 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 dates. All these moi 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 oracles for us. We are not going to go for that kind of foreign. We have to go with another code again. Aponico is the strongest lead in this land. It kills people that are committed to the law. We are going to the palace to rule with the Uranus. As a thing, on go over them. Okay. Oh. I have a feeling if you went to the secret places, I am taking decisions to make a decision. I am not longer comfortable with this. I am not at all. Agrega, whether feeling or whatever you are having, I will inform the police of that will come to our decision. And tomorrow we shall all gather in the palace. Bam! Bam! Did you say that? Then if you may let you go to the front. Because the full meaning of this is the one we have for. Ah! So what you are telling me is that if that strange man that we would have called down what to see. Is that what you are telling me? I, I am sorry. You see, I came here to give you an information. The three, our own OCCU, is on the verge of making some people like this. I've always been a beggar for your life. This is the time for the world. I want us to go and grab this one. The visit of a woman is woman up wherever he is. To come and grab this one. But I want us to be faster than him. So we'll be able to move him. That is not the visit of Adi. He can never take the fire ship. I have this feeling that you think the one will be visible. Very visible. It is going to be visible. He was promised to be here in the end. People will not be coming here as a deep spirit. It is going to be the only visible. Where is the visitor as we speak? Mm -hmm. This is only the impact. Yeah. I am talking about too much money to be grabbed here and visit. What impact is this? You told me yesterday that you have been to an agreement with the visitor to be his guide. Where is he as we speak? Whatever agreement I had with him started and ended yesterday. The visitor was not ready to take my advice, and you don't expect me to the red one who is not ready to listen to me. You are not part of the business. And I am telling you immediately to go and find your business. You are not the chosen vessel. But you can still be ready. What has happened? Eh? Why is everybody excluding me from this business that will fetch too much money? Eh? Is it because I drink alcohol? Am I the only one that drinks alcohol in this kingdom? Don't you drink? Even you. 
Donc tu dis il a pris la moto pour moi, c'est une fille qui m'a créé. Ah, ma voix t'a dit, mais je suis un homme comme une liste. Aspire to be alive, to see that you. The money you seek, you shall go. When there is peace in the land. The more you speak, the more you seek claim to me that you know about this rich man that I'm here to me. I am Akala of Ubuntu. The same Akala that you people refer to as the stubborn Akala. I am not God at you. But I must give you this information. I know everything. You, you are the only person that is accusing the king. And I want to say it again before this august body that the honest of truth lies on the axis. Um, I have to stand up to say what I want to say. Oh no, I'm sorry I have to disagree with you here. Ichie Gobife is not the only one accusing the king. As we all can see that the king is suffering from an incurable sickness. And that means that the gods are up against him because of the secret sin, secret evil he has committed. He must swear to clear himself. And we force I give you It is demon. You see the hell, get up. See the hell. He must swear. <laughs> The priest. Um, we are going to do this to it. Those of us that believe that the king must swear, I want you to lift up your hands. Um, I said it. They have been having secret meetings. Just to humiliate the secret. If there are those in this land, they will always be the dead just. Because they are delicate. Can you just rest it to yourself? Why are you taking this thing so sentimental? Just let me advise you. When we are discussing issues like this, you don't have to be sentimental. Because we are talking about the way forward of this kingdom. Even if the thing is a problem, when you see the truth, first it out of the This will become a problem. Um, <coughs> Your Majesty, this is happening in your presence. We are five members of the cabinet. Three have said that the king must swear. That means that the king is oh. You have the word of the king. I have not done anything against the cause. Listen, my father is going to swear. But before he swears, the men that accuse him must first swear that it is the gods that are punishing my father. No, is this a deliberate attempt to provoke me or something? Who gave you the right to open your mouth in this meeting? Is it because we allow you to sit down here with us that you are doubling into this deliberation with a printed mark? Use a printed mark? You are talking in this meeting? I go be fair. You are attacking this young lady for nothing. But you heard what she said. What she said is the order of the oracle of Agonico. But I am even surprised that a young lady knows what you don't do. And you parade yourself as a man who has hey! 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 
I am not going to dabble into this direct news of the nationality. Because it is very clear to me you came here and said something. Don't you see that? As of now, what I'm going to ask you a very simple question, and I want you to answer this sincerely. What do you think that she knows that I don't know? Speak. And if you want to know, the accused is going to swear. But before that, the accuser must have sworn that he or she is sure of what he or she is saying. The king is for them to have The king is the one that completely Let us go. You will swear that you are sure. Let's go. Who is there? Hello? Oh, Awaka. Thank God you are the one that answered me. Why are you thanking God? And what are you doing here by this time? That all everybody men are in their places of work and businesses. Awaka, I am working. In fact, I am the main person that is working. Where is he? Where is who? Don't make me look stupid. I have searched for him almost everywhere and finally something told me to come to you because you are the bomb. Where is he? Are you not talking in parables? Because I'm not getting it. Where is who? What are you talking about? Okay. A visitor came into this kingdom yesterday. His name is Anozi. And I know he slept here in this kingdom. And I'm really asking you to show me where he slept. Hold it. What are you trying to say? That a visitor came into this kingdom. And you're not asking me his whereabouts. What do you take me for? What are you saying? Oh, are you calling me a slut or something? You see, in this our kingdom, there is no other girl more beautiful than you. Hmm. Eh? Is there any? No. In way you are more than you here in this kingdom. The answer is no. Listen to me. Let me clarify you. The young man came in with a whole lot of money and he was spending money. Without any argument, he gave Akala exactly what she demanded from him. And I am asking you to tell me where he slept. I must tell you immediately that I've not seen her before. But the fact is that there's something very important I want her to do for me. So. I must tell you the truth that I must see her today. And it's a matter of life and this situation. Now that I get to you. Was that why she was desperately looking for Akala? Oh, 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 oh. Just hold on. You see, here in this kingdom, I'm the only person that consumes a whole lot of alcohol. Are you also under the influence of alcohol? Meaning? Because I am talking about Alos here and you are telling me she. Who is the she? I'm talking about Mrs. Lee. We ran into her yesterday and she was desperately looking for Akala. And now you say that your stranger paid Madame Akala exactly the amount she demanded. Meaning that he actually paid for the princess. Hold on. Don't speak further. Amaka, are you telling me that Mrs. Lee went to Akala? Yesterday, many of you have accused the king. Now the king has accepted that he will swear. <laughs> he has no option. Therefore, step forward and swear on the staff of the oracle of our people. Are you sure? See, this kingdom is the only kingdom that we have that we can comfortably talk about. And we must rise up to salvage this kingdom from this evil man. This man here, that is our king, is an evil man. He committed secret abomination against the gods, and that is the secret of the evil man. He's paralyzed. Does it happen 
even look where that a man who is up against the gods is ruling over normal people as it is anywhere. Um, I want to say here and now that I am no longer sure of the allegations against the king. You are forward. Three of you had accused the king. So you must wear one this stuff. Hey, men, not argue before the staff of the oracle of Apple. Leadership entails that men must be sure of what they want to say before they open their mouths. You have already accused the king, therefore, you must no longer. Standing before the sick king who is paralyzed, who doesn't represent the kingdom, who is not against the gods because of the secret evil he committed, and holding the staff of the oracle of Abuiko, I suppose. That we are sure that this man will be the hidden sin that we do. And that is the reason he was reflected. He got a good Jesus. There's no looking around. We are sure of what we are seeing. I'm a powerful family. Yeah. I never Before our eyes, the God shall always be the the just. Mm. Your condition has to do with the gods. And I know at the appointed time they shall make all things right. Do not surrender to death. I'm not joking with you. The princess Moko that's going to enter this palace. And I'm telling you that I will see the princess now. I am in the best position to tell you what happens in this palace. And not you. The princess came back and she came back alone. But she did not go out. If there is any stranger that came into this kingdom, that stranger is not there. Look for him as well. People saw her when she went to Akalo for her village. It was that stranger that hired Akala to make him up with the princess. Listen to me. I want to see the princess and I must see her now. He's the one in charge of the deadliest day in this land. What is he doing in the palace? Huh? 
And now lying dead in the palace. They swore on the staff of the army that they were sure of what they don't even know. And they were killed. Now go around the kingdom and publish the words of the priest. This is a new town in our religious kingdom. Those that open their mouths to say anything must be sure of what they are saying. The boys are angry because our people are now talking too much of what they don't do. Was he talking to you? Eh? You don't claim you do not understand what he said. Open your mouth when you are sure of what you find out of it. He's a bad man. Bad man. Three inches.